tonight that uh, we have this opportunity to celebrate with the American Physical Society uh, a seminal event in the history of physics, certainly in the history of modern physics. As a fellow of the American Physical Society, I feel it uh, necessary to extol the virtues of physics every chance I get. This, this day, this event with the American Physical Society on campus at the University of Columbia is tremendously important and symbolic, and I'm delighted to have this opportunity to participate with you all in this uh, important occasion. At this site in 1956, Chen Shang Wu, Ernest Ambler, Raymond Hayward, Dale Hopps, and Ralph Hudson carried out a momentous experiment demonstrating the non-conservation of parity in weak interactions. Before 1955, it was generally believed that the laws of nature, uh, both classical and quantum mechanical, do not distinguish between pairs of physical processes that differ only by uh, mirror symmetry, that is, an interchange of left and right. Um, the conserved quantity uh, associated with this symmetry is called parity. The discovery, however, of the K plus uh, meson challenged this notion as it undergoes decay, sometimes producing two pions, that is a positive uh, parity, and sometimes three pions, um, negative parity. So this was a very puzzling situation back in the early 50s uh, and uh, prompted T.D. Lee and C.N. Yang to um, look at this situation more closely and to realize that uh, conservation of parity in systems governed by the weak interactions had not really been tested. And uh, so they proposed actually a series of experiments um, uh, to, um, to test uh, the uh, conservation of parity for weak interactions and received, they, they proposed this in 1956 and actually received the Nobel Prize in 1957. What was most important for this university is that we're a part of the history. Uh, we can walk around and brag that even though we weren't here, most of us weren't around then, uh, things happened here that can happen in the future.